Hello everyone and welcome to How To Martial Arts. My name is Grace Chu and today I'll be talking about Taekwondo. Taekwondo was developed during the 1940s by various Korean martial artists as a blend of the indigenous Korean fighting styles of Taekhyun, Kwonpok, and Suhak, with influences of foreign martial arts such as karate from Japan and Chinese martial arts. Even though Taekwondo is of South Korean origin, it gained popularity after being demonstrated in the Seoul Olympics of 1988 and again in Barcelona for the 1992 Olympics. It became a full medal sport at the 2000 Summer Olympics in Sydney, Australia. To score points in Taekwondo, you must have valid strikes and kicks made to the head and to the torso. Taekwondo means the way of kicking and punching. Te means to kick with the foot, Kwon means to strike with the hand, To means the way of. So, te kwan to. I started Taekwondo when I was around 10 years old and my parents taught classes as I was growing up. They started a local class in our hometown church to help build a community back up in Des Moines, Iowa. We had the master that taught my parents to come up from Atlanta to do the belt ceremonies. The belts are what signifies what level you are at. White for when you first start, yellow, orange, green, blue, Purple, brown, red, red, black, then black. Some places may have slightly different orders and or colors. It doesn't stop after black. You also test to become different level black belts. 1단, 2단, 3단, 4단, 5단, 6단, 7단, and by then you're 관장님, 8단, and 9단, which means 총 관장님, and you are a grandmaster. I made my way up from a white to a black belt when I was under 15. So at that time, I was considered an il pum, and now I'd be considered an il tan. This sport is very important to me because I was always subconscious at the fact that I was the only Korean kid around. Through this, I became proud that I was a Korean American and was able to build up my heritage and become who I am today. When we come back, I'll teach you guys some basic steps that are used in Taekwondo. Welcome back to How To Martial Arts. My name is Grace Chu and I'm going to teach you guys the steps uh, that we use in Taekwondo. So first off, you wanna make sure your legs are shoulder length width apart, slightly wider if you'd like, and make sure your knees are bent. You do not want to lock your knees, that could be dangerous. And your hands, very important. When you are punching, you wanna make sure that your uh, hands fold down and you don't want it too tight. You don't want your nails to dig into your palms. That could be dangerous And you want your thumbs to kind of be on the outside of your middle and your pointer finger If you have them on the inside that is very dangerous You could break your thumb while punching either a board a person whatever So just lightly down not too tight not too loose Just like that and wrap your thumbs around and normally when you are in any position They'll mostly be at your sides when you are at a ready position, chumbi position. And other hand arm positions that you have are right here for your uh, blocking or when you are kicking or when you're on the offense. This protects your chest from any potential points and or dangers. 
So another very basic position that you have regarding punches is again, feet apart, hands at the side, your fist, and we just do this exercise over and over again. It helps with grounding, breathing, and just learning how to become one. Te guan, te guan, te guan to. You want to make sure you're aiming for the middle of your chest. In a tojang, you will have a whole bunch of mirrors around, so you'll know where or when to punch. But this is your most basic position. And other things that you have, like I mentioned before, you get most of your points from kicking. So again, you want your arms up, one leg back, and your most basic kick, your front kick. Your side kick. Your double side kick. Your roundhouse kick. And your hook kick. Those are your most basic kicks and stay tuned to learn how to put some of these steps together and we'll be back after this break. And welcome back to How To Martial Arts. My name is Grace Chu and I'm going to teach you guys Taeguk Iljang, or otherwise known as Form 1. So, Charyat, Attention, Jumbi, Ready. Taeguk Iljang, Form 1, Si Chak, Start. 1, Lower Leg Block, 2, Punch, 3, Lower Leg Block, 4, Punch, Five, lower leg block. Six, punch. Seven, upper block. Eight, punch. Nine, upper block. 10, punch. 11, lower leg block. 12, punch. 13, upper head block. 14, kick, punch. 15, upper head block. 16, kick, punch. 17, lower leg block. 18, ay! Paro, which means before, sha, rest. So that yell that I did at the end there, that is also called a kiap, and it is a way to expel energy after collecting it through all the different moments that you have, and it also signifies the end of your forms. So I'll do take it down again with the proper Korean terms and counting. 차렷, 준비, 태극 일장 시작 하나, 둘, 셋, 넷, 다섯, 여섯, 일곱, 여덟, 아홉, 열, 열하나, 열둘, your set, your net, your tasot, your yosot, your ego, your yoder. Ay! Paro, shut. This has been How to Martial Arts Edition Taekwondo. I'm Grace, and thank you for joining us. Kyungye!